in this video i'll talk about superposition of shm superposition of shm so suppose that we have two shms like x is equal to a sin omega t let us take a small a a sin omega t okay and we have another shm y is equal to b cos omega t right we have equation of shm given by x is equal to small a sin omega t and y is equal to small b cos omega t so if these two shms are happening simultaneously then what should be the effect of these two like can we have something like called as net shm equation so that we can study about these uh, individual uh, we should not need to study individual shms so yes principle of superposition principle of superposition will come into the picture and it says that it will be x plus y is equal to a sin omega t plus b cos omega t so we need to add these two and then we can get what a sin omega t plus b cos omega t so how to solve this so let us do something here mathematics so we have taken a square plus under root b square common from the whole term so this will be a upon under root of a square plus b square sin omega t plus this will become b upon under root of a square plus b square cos omega t correct so now why i am doing this because uh, equivalent relation and without removing this sin and cos term it it is not possible so i am trying to do something now i am saying say this term is let's say for example cos phi i assumed assume what i assumed cos phi is equal to a upon under root of a square plus b square so if i draw that triangle like this this is phi then i can write this is a and this is under root of a square plus b square suppose that triangle is abc then in triangle this ab side ab will be under root of ac square minus bc square and this will be given as a square plus b square minus bc is going to be a square right now we can solve this thing further so this a square and a square is cancelled out this will be simply root of b square which is b that means this side will be simply b only so now i can also see one more thing here what let us remove it the value of sin phi so if you see the sin phi from this triangle sin phi will be b upon under root of a square plus b square and interestingly if you see the other term this becomes sin phi only so now the function which i have let's say the net was x plus y so say this is let's say z i just said this is a z is equal to under root of a square plus b square into this is sin omega t cos phi plus cos omega t into sin phi right now you know that formula which formula sin a plus b you know the formula you say sin a 
कॉस बी प्लस कॉस ए साइन बी सो इफ यू कंपेयर दिस ए इज हियर ओमेगा टी एंड बी एस फाइव देन आई कैन ऑल्सो राइट दिस जेड विल बी इक्वल टू अंडर रूट ऑफ ए स्क्वायर प्लस बी स्क्वायर साइन ओमेगा टी प्लस फाइव इज इंट यस सो नाउ दिस इज अवर इक्वेलेंट equation of shm which is easily acceptable and which is easily we can actually calculate now if we compare this with z is equal to a sin omega t plus phi that means everything inside sin is same so that means this a is nothing else the amplitude which is a square plus v square so we already calculated the value of net shm so here we achieved under root of a square plus b square now we can actually generalize this relation how to generalize it so we know that angle between two vectors so angle between two vectors let's say if two vectors are certainly theta angle let's say vector p and q then the resultant vector will be given by under root of p square plus q square plus 2 pq cos theta clearly if you see that here the initial one was perpendicular right because one was a sin omega t this was x the other one was y which was b b cos omega t so you can clearly see this y could have been written as cos pi by 2 minus or pi by 2 plus omega t both are same thing so this is sin let me write it nicely so this y could have been written as here b sin now we know that this can be written as pi by 2 plus omega t so if you see because this is in the second quadrant so pi by 2 plus sin is positive you will get the same value right cos omega t only that means initially phase angle was phi which phi uh, difference was pi by 2 here delta phi so that means the exact value of amplitude can be written as if there is a certainly angle delta phi then a square plus b square plus 2ab cos of delta phi right so that's how we can calculate the value of our amplitude now in this equation if you put delta phi as 0 we achieve a is equal to this term will become uh, a plus b so this will become a square plus b square plus 2ab which is nothing else a plus b because this is the square root of a square plus b square and if delta phi is pi that means 180 degree opposite direction then we can achieve a is equal to a square plus b square minus 2a because cos pi will be minus 1 so little bit mathematics is involved but yes for understanding purpose which is pretty good so obviously this will be a Minus b. I am taking mod because whichever one will be greater, like a is here greater than b or b is greater than a, both are possible. And of course, if I would have substituted here, if I would have substituted here, what? This was delta phi was pi. If I would have substituted delta phi as pi by two. that means clearly you can see this angle would have been 0 uh, 90 degree that means answer was a square plus b square only which we achieved recently okay so yeah this is very important superposition of shm in need many question can be asked on the basis of that